subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos. Hey what's up YouTube this is Wase here and in this video I am going to show you how you can connect your DualShock 4 controller to your PC to play PC games. So let's start the video. You can connect your DualShock 4 controller to your Windows PC via the micro USB cable or via Bluetooth but some of the games support the DualShock 4 controller and some of them don't like if you take the example of GTA 5 it does not support the DualShock 4 controller on your Windows PC but at the same time if you take the example of Tekken 7 it does support DualShock 4 controller so how you can overcome the problem to play games like GTA 5 with your DualShock 4 controller on your PC in this video I am going to tell you about that solution. So first of all you are going to need a software that will connect your DualShock 4 controller to your PC and then to the game so that the game can recognize and detect your controller. I am going to be taking the example of GTA 5 but this process was for all the games so you don't have to worry about that. So let's move towards our PC. So first of all you are going to any of your browsers. Uh, and you're going to open this web link. I will put the link of this website's page in the video's description So you can simply click on it and this page will open up. You're going to go down and here it says version 1.7.7 and so on size is 72.20 MB uh, Release date is January 11, 2020 and you're going to download this version of input mapper um, You can download any version. This is the most latest version. So that's why I'm downloading this one you are just simply going to press on download now button and you are going to download it on your PC since I have already downloaded it so I am not going to download it again. So here is what the setup will look like input mapper you are going to right click on it and run it as an administrator. Here is the setup wizard next you are going to accept the agreement and you can go with uh, complete custom and typical install i'm going to go with uh, custom and you can choose whichever things you want i'm just going to go to next and install so now it's going to install the input mapper software on your windows pc that will be used to connect your dualshock 4 to your windows and then to play games finish and now here is the shortcut as you can see so now you're going now first of all you're going to connect your DualShock 4 controller to your Windows PC you can connect it either via wire or via Bluetooth I'm going to connect it via Bluetooth because uh, you don't have to worry about the wires and the length and so on so that's why I think Bluetooth is much better so now I'm going to enable Bluetooth so that I can connect my DualShock 4 controller here it is Bluetooth right click on it go to setting and here you can see it says add bluetooth or other other devices you're going to press on it so now on your dualshock 4 controller you're going to press the playstation and the share button simultaneously for three seconds and your dualshock 4 controller light will blink continuously now here on bluetooth you're going to press on it here it is wireless controller you're going to press on it and it will start connecting to it so now here you are going to open your input manager software that we just installed here it is uh, input mapper so you can see that it has automatically detected the DualShock 4 controller that is connected to this PC via Bluetooth so now here you can see it says new profile 1 all you are going to do here it says new none you are going to press on it and you are going to make a profile for this con uh, DualShock 4 controller so I am just going to name it DualShock Shock um, next now no mapped output here you can see for the output you need to make sure that the output is set to 360 controller that's the important part uh, if you don't do this then it will not connect to your games and will run properly finish so now if you want to see the profile settings you can go to profiles and the name was DualShock here you can see the input device DualShock 4 controller that we connected and the output device is 360 controller meaning that 
our Microsoft Windows PC will assume that the device connected is a Microsoft 360 controller. Anyways, now I'm just going to run the game to show you that it is working properly. So here you can see the game has started. Now I'm just going to select the story mode and I'm going to press on X and the game will start. So you can see the game is working with the DualShock 4 controller. You can play offline, online and it will work perfectly. So let the story mode start and I'm just going to show you a quick demo. So here you can see I am completely playing it with the game. Uh, the controls are same as you would expect in a PlayStation 4. If you played, uh, play on PlayStation 4, GTA 5, then the controls are exactly same and similar. So you can see this is working really fine. So guys, if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have any kind of questions, write them in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Thank you for watching this video.